In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple technique that I uh, use to uh, solve the problem of uh, building the signal over the weekend. Suppose I am checking the charts on uh, Saturday or Sunday, and as you know that uh, the market is closed on Saturday Sunday, and uh, MT4, MT5 platform don't uh, allow you to place any order on Saturday and Sunday. So I find a good trading opportunity on pound dollar or uh, dollar yen or euro dollar. And I want to place a limit order. I find most of the time very good opportunity on the um, Saturday, Sunday, we just placed a limit order on Monday when the market opens. Can get a very good trade of 100, 150 pips. So, uh, how to schedule a signal and uh, place a signal on Saturday or Sunday that will be executed on uh, Monday? Because I don't want to uh, wake up on uh, Monday according to my time. Uh, the Monday market opens, it's uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. I want to sleep at that time. I don't want to wake up and place the order myself. So as I if you have watched my previous videos, I have this uh, now Django app that I have quoted. So this is that uh, signal. Let's say I place a buy limit pound dollar. 240 the uh, time frame H4. This is the one bar, five pips uh, below the low of uh, the first bar, and magic number is three and risk is two. So I have this created this field, added this. So I can say this thing today is Friday. So today I would say uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday 6th, I can then schedule it on here 6th at uh, this time. This time, I, I can just uh, delete it from here also. So, how do I do it? Uh, once I play the signal, it will only appear at that time. So, it was something challenging for me because. Uh, I'm not a professional programmer, but solved it in a very beautiful way. I want to share it with you. So this is that uh, dashboard where I quote this uh, Django app. And uh, these are the files where signal dashboard Signals model. So here, model is the object relation model that connects that uh, Python with the database, whatever database it is. Right now, it is the SQL three, SQLite three, but it can be MySQL, it can be PostgreSQL also. So I'm right now using it because uh, I will upgrade it later on. So all these models have got an inbuilt uh, manager that controls these models. So I just uh, made my own model published manager. And I overlooked the default uh, query set and made this query set. So it will only show signals that are less than or equal to the time now. It took me roughly uh, a week to figure out how to do it. But it was uh, it is a beautiful solution because uh, there is no overload on this app. Previously, I had this idea that I will use a scheduling app, this scheduler. So I 
Google it and they said that if you want to schedule a task, then you should use the advanced Python scheduler library. I did, but it didn't solve the problem. Then I thought of that thing. And then here I made this published manager. So in this segment, there is object. This is the default model that uh, manager, published, published manager. And in the views, you see, in the query set, once you call the records, then we just published all. So it will just uh, show all those records that uh, are less than or equal to the date time now. So, so I really like this solution to share it with you. Really interesting and I think it is uh, really beautiful. So I hope you like it. Now I'm just thinking of uh, if somebody, if you people are uh, interested in uh, using this Django app. Now it's uh, I'm adding more features into it. Uh, you can uh, also use it. Uh, right now I'm using that uh, free account. But uh, you can uh, use the uh, we can use upgrade it uh, once they have more people and uh, uh, we can uh, then uh, Upgrade means uh, I'll just charge you $5 per month. This is what this uh, Python Anywhere charges uh, per month and it gives you more uh, disk space and you, can, you have got more uh, processing time. It gives you right now uh, uh, 100 uh, seconds for a day processing time. CPU is 100 seconds. 100 seconds, uh, might, you might think it's not enough, but it's uh, enough. 100 seconds means uh, each calculation takes less than a millisecond, even now uh, it's in microseconds. So it means that you can make roughly like 100,000 uh, calculations in one day if you use uh, one millisecond. If you use uh, uh, microseconds and plot both, it all depends. This as Python Anywhere website says, if you are a good programmer, then you can uh, do a lot of stuff even with this uh, 100 seconds uh, CPU time in 24 hours. So this is what I have achieved with this uh, solution because uh, now once I uh, schedule these signals, there is no extra load on the, the server. So if you people are interested in uh, using this uh, Django app, uh, you can uh, leave your comments uh, below this video. And if you want more features, you can also leave your comments. I would love it. And uh, if you want uh, me to add C Trader, I can also do it. But right, since I don't uh, use C Trader, I use MT4, MT5. But uh, C Trader can also be programmed. I know how to do it. I hope you <clears throat> like this video.